to really see the power of Divi, we need to go into the page builder. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to pages and then click on add new. Let's call this page Divi and use Divi Builder. For this example, we're going to build from scratch. So I'm going to come over here. So the main components of Divi are your rows, your sections, and also your modules. Let me show you how they work. So over here, this is our main section area. So if I click here on this plus button, I can choose what type of section I need to add. But in most cases, we use our regular sections. Now, each section can be customized. Next, we also have our rows. So if I click on this plus button here, our rows determines how many columns we need to use in our design. So let's say you want to add two equal columns. You can just select that. And now the third part is the actual modules. So these are all the modules that we can add to our design. So for this example, let's start by adding our text module. So the easiest way is to start typing here and it narrows them down. So I'm gonna add my text module. And also we have this interface here. So this interface makes it easy for us to customize whatever module that we're working with. So let me start by snapping this over to the left. It just makes my design much easier. So now I can start customizing my text. So this is the default. So the quickest way to customize any module is by hovering over it and then clicking on this paintbrush icon. So it'll take you directly to what you need to customize. So over here, since we have our text, I can click here on default font and start choosing my font. So let's say I want to use Poppins as my font. I can select it here. I can change the color. I can also change the size and I can also change my line height. So all these are things that I can do to my font. Now, if you want to go advanced, you can also add a background to our font here. Let me show you how to do that. So if I come back over here to content, I can go to background and apply a background to this. So I'm going to say go with this color here. Next, back over here on the design, I have all these elements that I can start customizing. So let's say I want to go into my spacing here and give this designs a bit of um, breathing space. So I can say, okay, I want padding of 20 all around. So you can see I've used my chain icon. This helps me customize this precisely. And my size now is being applied both to the top and the bottom. Now I can also do this to the left and the right. So let's say I'm applying 16 pixels and I've applied it to the right as well. So I can visually look here and see how I want my spacing to be. So maybe I want to go with uh, say 24 here and then top and bottom. I want to go with also 24. Now I'm not done yet. I can come back now and click on this pencil icon and change my color one more time so that it's easier to read. So as you can see, my text module is versatile. I can go in and do quite a lot of things in there. Now, there's also more things I can do here while I'm on the design tab. And that is, I can also animate this. So let's say I come over here to animation. I can make it bounce like that. I can also make it slide. I can also fade it and so on. So now I'm just going to say none and then save. Now, there's also other elements we can add here. If I click on this plus button, again, let me do one more example. And this time I want to add an image. So I'm going to start typing I am. And then here you can see it has narrowed down to image. So I'm going to click here on image. Now, there's two ways you can add your images. Just click here and you can either upload it from your computer or if you have it in your media library, this is where you would find it. So I'm going to go to my computer and go to my downloads folder and select my image. And now I can add my image. Now there's also further things that we can do to our image here. And each module has its own customizations. So for my image here, you'll notice that if I come all the way down, I also have filters. So with the filters, I can reduce my saturation here and make my image black and white. I can also add a sepia tone like that just to stylize my image. If I need to, I can also invert it but I don't know why you'd want to do that. So there's a lot of things that we can do here to play around with our image. I can also play around with my hue. In fact, let's remove our sepia tone here. So you can see here as I play around with my hue, let's add a bit of saturation. So I can stylize this to make it look the way I want. Now, if you're not happy with that, you can just, you know, click on that just to undo it. Next, we can also add some rounded corners by coming over here to border. And let's say I want to add maybe 10 on my rounded corners. I can add it like that. And then I can save. All right. So these are just 
two examples I've just done for you. Now, let me show you also what you can do with your sections. So sections also have their own customizations. So if I click here on section settings and go to background, I can actually add a background color like that. But of course, this is not really a good color. So let's go with black. Next, I can come over here. I can also add gradients. So if I click on this plus button, you notice now I have a gradient and I can highly customize it here by, let's say, for example, I want to add 270. You can see now my gradient, my gradient is working and I can go in and specifically choose the color that I want. So let's say I want to go with um, something like that and then come to my next color here. I can change it to, you know, whatever color I want. And I can also adjust my gradient here. Maybe I want to go with 90 degrees. There we go. So you can see now that we can easily customize this. I can also play around with my start and end position. So you can see there. And I can also do my start position like that. Now you can also stylize this to uh, come with a specific design. Like for example, now I have a straight line in there. So all this can be achieved by using our gradient. So I'm just going to delete this because I don't want to use the gradient. Next, over here on design, we have more features. So if I come over here to dividers, I can also add a bottom divider. And these are all the styles that I can use. So if I scroll down here, you can see I have this style. I can also add my repeat. And I can also flip it like that. Now you can see here is quite too close to my image. So what I can also do is I can add a bit of padding both to the top and the bottom. And to do that, you can come over here to spacing. And now I can add my padding. So let's start with, let's say, 20 pixels. I'm going to apply the same both to the top and the bottom. And now I can use the dial to really go in and add my padding. So just by doing that, you can see I've added a nice looking divider. So now we can go ahead and save. Next, we also have our row setting. So if I click on this gear icon, it takes me to my rows. And then over here on the design, if I go to sizing, I can really adjust my size here by changing my width. So let's say I want to increase my width. So you can see here, I'm really going really far to about 90%. Now I can also say customize gutter width. So the gutter width is the space between the columns here. So I can reduce that by doing that. I can also equalize column heights. If I really want all my elements in here to have the same height, I can also specify my height. And then over here, we also have our spacing where we can add the spacing that would require in this area here. We can also animate this if we need to. So for now, I'm just going to hit save. Next, let me show you how you can also use images to stylize your design. So for this example, I'm going to come over here to my background and add my image in the background. So I'm going to come to this third tab. Click on this plus button and then select my image and then click upload image. So for now, I am going to save changes. Next, I can go in here and click on this plus button to add my columns. So I'm going to go with uh, two columns. And in the first column, I'm going to add a text module like that. So this time I want to show you how to add headings. So I'm going to delete all this text. Highlight my text here. Click on the drop down and set my heading. Now, I know right now it's not stylized and we can't really see this in the background. So we need to go in and further customize this. So I'm going to come over here now to design. Now, remember, the quickest way is to click here on this paintbrush icon. So I'm going to do that. So now I can go in and start choosing my fonts. So I'm going to start with my font type. So I'm going to go with Poppins. I'm going to change my color so I can easily see it. I'm going to change my size. So I'm going to go with 56. I'm also going to make this bold. And I think I'm okay for now. I can hit save. Now you can see here that uh, our image doesn't look great. So let's increase this by coming over here to my section settings, design. And then over here on spacing, I'm going to add 100 to the top and apply the same to the bottom. So as I'm looking at this, I can decide whether I need to add more or not. So let me add a bit more like that. Now my image here doesn't look great. So what I need to do is to darken it. So the quickest way to do that is to come over here to your background, click here on your background color and add your color. Come over here to your image, scroll all the way down and go to your blending mode, choose multiply. So this is going to cover the whole image. 
but don't worry yet i'm gonna come over here now back and then we're gonna add some transparency here so if i add a bit of transparency you can see now we start to see a bit of our image there in the background so that's the quickest way you can go in and get really nice looking backgrounds with divi so we can further add maybe a button here by maybe searching for button and we can also stylize our button by coming over here going into button and then activating use custom styles for button so you can say okay you know what let's go with a white border but you can also choose a solid border if you wanted to or a solid background by doing that and then next i'm going to come over here to my border apply a color to that and then finally i'm going to go to my font and choose my font for my button select it and now everything is looking great so all i can do now is save now at any point if you want to delete any of this you can just come over here to this trash icon and just select that and that deletes it now if you want to add more sections you can just click here on this plus button click on regular and away we go we can now add even more content below this now there's also another area that i need to show you which is very important and that is our theme builder so as you can see we don't have a footer here on our website and we also don't have a designed header so to do that this now needs a very important part in divi which is our theme builder so i'm going to come over here back to wordpress click on divi and then go into our theme builder so this is where you can specify your global footers your global headers and so on so let's start now by creating our global header so i'm going to come over here click on build global header so just like what we did before we can choose our columns so i'm going to click on this plus button and we need one column for this one it's just a quick example and i'm going to add my menu like that and then over here on the logo i can also upload my logo but i'm not going to do that yet so for now i'm going to go to my background and make sure i set it to transparent and then save next i'm going to come over here to my section and let's add a background color so i'm going to click here on background and for my color, I'm going to go with this color here. And then over here on the design, I'm going to go to spacing and make sure I do not have any padding. So now let's go ahead and save. Next, I'm going to come over here now to my menu. Click here and change the color and also the font. So I'm going to click here on design. Menu text changes to, changes to white. And then for the text color, I'm going to change that to white as well. Go to my font, change this to Poppins. I can make it all caps and I can also make it semi bold. So all these decisions, you can just make them as you're designing your header. Next, I'm going to add a bit of letter spacing and I think that looks much better. So just by doing that, if I hit save, save one more time. So now if I close out of here, save changes, my website now is going to have a global header. So let's really come over here and see that so if i refresh my page now we have our header now i know this was a quick way of just going in and customizing this but as you can see this is a quick way of going in and stylizing my header of my website and the same applies to my footer as well as soon as i click here to add a global footer i can go in and customize my footer and the footer will be applied across the whole website as i did over here now for our theme builder, we can also add more templates. So let's say you want to create a 404 page. You would come over here, scroll all the way down here and choose 404 page, create your template and your template is going to be applied pretty much across the whole website. So as you can see, Divi is super, super powerful. All right, so this is just what I just can quickly show you to get you up and running super fast with Divi. I will be creating more tutorials to show you even more advanced stuff. So make sure you're subscribed. And also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. I also have a 10% discount. Link to that is in the video description below. It also comes with a bonus course, which shows you how to create professional looking websites with Divi. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Want to save time designing websites? Download my free SiteMaker Divi template. It has a header, footer, a 404 page, and also buttons, text, headings, all pre-designed for you, giving you a professional working website right from the get-go. It is very easy to customize. It's 100% free. Link to that in the video description below. And if you haven't bought Divi yet, get 10% off when you use my link in the video description below.